and here we go. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. This video is going to be about how to install OpenEMR. There are lots of ways to install OpenEMR, so I'm going to give you my favorite way of installing OpenEMR. Because I do a lot of customizations, I need a lot of flexibility in how the server is configured so that, of course, we can get in and do the customizations that we want to do. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with using Docker. Docker is a great platform. It just, to me, adds more complexity than I'm willing to deal with. And, of course, anything that you get used to, you can do it well. So this is not a slight against Docker, and you can use Docker if you want to. Now, for me, I like using a plain Jane server install. Now, the instructions that I'm going to give you will work whether you're on a web server such as AWS, Google, or Azure, if they're all basically the same, or if you have a machine in your office that you want to use, it's perfectly fine to use that as well. Uh, because if you can find a machine that has a, uh, let's say, 4 gigs of RAM, at least a 500 megabyte, 500 gig hard drive, uh, you can run OpenEMR on it. Uh, I've had people call me and ask me about the using the virtual box. Again, virtual boxes and other things like that just add more complexity and it depends. If you're versed with using those, use those. But of course, if you're not, then this will be a way to install OpenEMR. As you can see, I'm on the OpenEMR page, which is for downloads. I'm going to talk about Linux install on this video and maybe I'll do one on Windows at another time. But as far as for Linux, that's the flavor we like to use the most on our setups. Now, if you're going to have, and I'm going to use my AWS account for this demonstration, and when you log into your AWS account, of course, you're going to want to pick your region, and you want to use a region that's closest to you for your server install. And if, you're ha if this is a brand new account, then you want to go up to the top here and type in EC2, and then select EC2. From your EC2, you want to go ahead and launch an instance of hmm, a server. Now, for recommendations, if I go here, oh, that's this. Launch instance. Hmm, not working out for me. Uh, let's see. New instance. What did I want to do? Oh. They've changed their interface recently, so I might be a little off kilter on this. So let's do this. Instances. I want to launch a new instance, so let's go to running instances. And up here in the upper right hand corner, I'm going to launch instances. Okay, that's what I'm used to doing. And from here, now this screen is brand new, and we usually use the T3 type servers. So, oh, sorry, I got a gig. Open EMR. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but if I choose my Ubuntu 20 and choose this, this is where I choose my server type. You can use this one if you want, but you're going to run into some slowness with the size of Open EMR running on it. So, what you really want to do to get the best operation is to go ahead and use at least a T3 small at best a mm, T3 medium okay where you have four gigs of memory so T3 medium is going to give you your best performance out the box and be able to run for a long time you won't have to upsize your server at, for a while and that'll get you going and then you're going to create a key pair for it and then launch your instance now once you launch your instance and you have your key pair then you're going to use something like putty to log into your instance and just for sure we're going to log into our instance here and as you can see I'm at my command prompt and from there you will follow the instructions here okay so you would need to install your lamp stack and all you have to do is copy this right here and then paste it into your onto your AWS server it will launch all the things that you need in order to run OpenEMR successfully. Follow all the steps here to install MariaDB and set up the security for your server and restart. And you're ready for the next step, which is to go here and then download, which you would click on these instructions here, the OpenEMR. Okay. 
and you would use these instructions in order to install OPM on your server. And as you can see, it's very detailed instructions, and they have screenshots, and so you would just follow all of these steps in order to install OpenEMR. So that is the short version of how I like to install OpenEMR and get it up and running. And then from there, you have access to your machine, your server, and you can play with it and see what you want to do with it from there and become familiar with the features of the program. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.